Alright guys, welcome to the video. This is Shroom today, fishing on the Parramatta River. Probably going to be using some baits. Baits as in live bait, dead baits. We actually caught some bait earlier at another spot before we arrived here, just fishing on this platform. You know, sometimes the wharf is busy, so making my way just in this section here. I want to show you first up what we got in the live bait tank. You can see right down here, this actually these were like nice and fresh but on the drive here you can see that they've been yeah just um probably getting a bit battered but some of these don't survive too well like that herring down there let's just maybe we'll grab him out this is probably what we could use first stop if i can grab with my with my left hand which i can't all right right there so we've got some herring oh there's another herring that that one's kicking oh actually this one's still alive let's put him back we've got an aerator going too Pl plenty of yakkers in there so, like I said, we caught them earlier using some pilchards, just on a really small long shank, tiny hook, so, yeah. Let's go slice and dice. Put it down here. You know what, actually, I think we'll get two baits out of this one, and I'm gonna divide it in the middle with a big. I reckon even half this would be pretty good. There we go, let's check out Shroom's fillet job. Oh, look at that, there's a lot of meat there. That's not too good. We use the whole thing. This, this looks good as a one single bait. Just a quick rundown of my rig. I've got that orange easy rig, 110 gram star sinker to a boat wheel, onto a heavy duty spool, and then about a meter and a bit more of 40 pound leader to another bead and a 5 0 circle. So on this, geez, a plane's go overhead every time you need to say something. What do you reckon? That doesn't look too bad. What do you reckon? I don't know, but I reckon this is going to be good with a pretty long leader. There we go, that sounded pretty far to me. I reckon that's far enough. We'll let that sink set that bait up, cross our fingers and toes, and uh, yeah, wait for that big hook up. Looks like we might be getting a few bites there. Did you see that? Oh yeah, as luck would have it, you get bites just when the ferry's pulling in. <laughs> I really don't want to bring this in right now, but I think we have to. We're gonna wait for the next cast. Oh, look at that. As luck would have it, that's the remnants of my bait. You just saw seconds ago what I put in. That has been smashed. So it looks like I'm going to have to take this off and put a new one. Oh, geez. That, look how sinewy that is. That's a tough bait. No wonder they weren't able to rip this off. It was probably like brim and all sorts just pecking at that. See you later. All right, ferries just moved away. Let's go check the live bait tank here because we need to move on to bigger and better things and we've got a lot of big better big and better things that are like on death's door here unfortunately even with this air they pumping anyway i digress because we need to unzip more of this part first to access our goodies get some heavy duty tongs all right look at that that's a massive yakka that one's gone oh no actually it's still alive these guys are still alive they're just like hanging on the bottom guess they're having a sleep what do you reckon fellas let me know all right you know what we tried yakka we're gonna go try some herring go just throw them down on the bait board here so that's what we used earlier you know what we could probably just throw them over the side burly up <coughs> Bloop. just like the sound of that thing hitting the first thing in the morning you know all right here we go knife let's check my sashimi skills here let's get that fillet geez this is a pretty bloody bait i reckon this is going to be good for stingrays what do you guys reckon look at that that's terrible filleting skills that is the thinnest fillet out of the thickest fish ah uh, what can you do we'll use it that's the frame let's eat this and yeah this is where my combo is let's get back here and like i said guys i promise that i'll cast this bait out and get a video but i can't promise we'll catch anything so we shall see there we go look at that let's just go through one hook just looks way more appetizing we'll launch this out and set it down and play the waiting game once again the longer we wait the closer we are to that first hookup all right so the big bait's been out here for a while we're still waiting for some bites uh just trying to remember what it was it was a herring wasn't it in the meantime i'm gonna set up like a little brim rod you know maybe just send out a little bait along the side with my little one to three kilogram I've actually been thinking about what bait I'll use for that and I reckon we can use some of this squid here. This is actually lun squid. Uh, you can see uh, we've already used like the top of the hood. That's not 
a normal look for a squid. But I reckon if I can just strip off the mantle, we can get some brim baits out of that one. Just picked up my brim combo right here. If you have a closer look, you can see what I was using earlier uh, to catch the live bait, which we haven't used out live actually at the moment, just because of where we are. See that, I got a little long shanked hook, probably around a size 12. I was catching a few yakkers and then down to a little bit of lead here. So Paternoster style. No way. Is that seriously a mud crab? Oh, it's a mud crab. What? <laughs> what? No. No, bro no, no brother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is about to take my toes. Whoa. Get your toes out of the way, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Who's, who's daring enough to grab him? Uh, I'm daring enough to grab him. Well, you got to grab him at the back. I know that much. Huh? <sighs> Bro, I don't even know how to check eggs. I know you got to measure their head, but I haven't caught much. There we go, man. Shroom with a grab. The mud. Look, it feels heavy, man. That's heavy. That's heavy. They got thick shells. Where'd you hook him? On a circle hook, too. Yeah, he's hooked on um, underneath his claw there. I just got to try to watch my fingers here. I won't let go or anything, so you're good. Braid scissors is for the job. That is a male, because it's got the pointy triangle where... Do you want to let him go? <laughs> you want to grab him? Man, mysteries of the night, huh? See? This is why you fish. Look at that. We'll send him back. He's heavy. My, my right hand's actually getting tired. See you later, buddy. All right, see, with that crab, I'm starting to wonder whether I even had a chance at this bait. We're going to go check. It's probably long gone. Probably to another mud crab. That's what I like to think, but you know what? It's probably nothing anyway. We probably just lost it to pickers because we actually didn't even lose it to anything. And that's a nice, that's a spinning bait, which is not too good, but look at that. If this doesn't scream that nothing wanted this herring, I don't know what does. Oh, what a sorry sight that is. But hey, that's all right. I'm gonna probably try squid. We're just gonna keep rotating the baits. If there was ever a good time for a bait change, it is right now because I'm looking at some Lund squid. We'll, we'll do a dedicated Lund squid video at some stage, but anyway, this is the squid we've got. And I'm actually gonna go whole. I was gonna chop it through the head, but you, you saw that squid that I was showing you before. That's what did the damage on that mud crab. So how funny is that? I, I don't think many people would grab a squid and just, you know, demolish it like I did, but like literally just cut it across there, use that and then get a nice mud crab. <laughs> You, you know, that's why you fish. You test things and you find out what works. Okay, now, yeah, this is definitely a solid block of squid. We might just throw this out to yonder point. All right, so we've had some changes with the bait. Anyway, it's been hooked on now twice because it's a bit soft. It's a bit soft when you want to go hard at night. We're going hard. Let's go punch this out with a hard right. You know, like in rallying, you say, you know, medium right, medium left. Oh, I lost my bait. That's good. Good and bad. We're actually going to change down to the wharf because it's now free. And I've just wound in and you can see with your very own eyes, the squid's gone, which means that he got eaten, of course. All right. We're just missing the fish, ladies and gents. So we'll get this right into. Got a few bites on this, but yet to catch anything. What is that? Oi, 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 I caught something. I caught a leaf Pokemon with a prawn. He's got claws and everything, man. Oh, he just jumped. Hey. Oh, ladies and gents, aren't I the king of catching the most random stuff? Actually, you know what? He's got eggs. Maybe we've got to release this guy. I just noticed there. We won't use him. Just noticed that. What do you reckon? Hit the like. We're going to let him go. He's got eggs. I know that's eggs because that doesn't look normal. See you later. been about an hour so I decided to rig about three rods three times the chance of catching a fish check this out it's on the side because the ferry just pulled away we've got the rigs already prepared and I've actually put the baits on already so pre-prepared you know like they do in the cooking shows they put the uncooked cake in the oven and then they take out the real thing that's it right there see 4,000 twin power that's my light gear going with the head this one 6,000 Stratic, 6 to 12 kilogram. We're going with a full Lund. Full squid. And this last one here, 
where is it? The rig's somewhere here, but this is the 10K GOSA. We're gonna put a live bait because I actually don't understand with all the bait we've got tonight, and we actually have some free swimming baits right here. No one's even tried to send one out. Well, guess what? Yours truly is about to do just that. We're probably gonna send a live yakka out because that's the one swimming at the top. All right, there it is, live yakka time, live yakka. Top of the head, put it through once. All right, good. All right, so we're on the wharf right now. If I haven't already said it, I'm gonna grab one of these heads with a 3.0. I'm going for a little light one. All right, here we go. It's out there. We have squid. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh shit! Don't go, don't go. We got it. We got it. Oh, shrimp's on, man. Shrimp is on here. Woo. Hijacked, uh, yeah, hijacked my mate's spot. I knew where he cast is a good spot, so I thought, you know what? We'll just do a sneaky sneak. And actually, I don't want to talk up too much in case I lose this fish. I don't even know what it is. It could be anything. It could be a big yakka. I don't think so. Ooh, look at those head shakes. It's a bram. <laughs> yeah, not a bad brim there, yeah. But look at that. Let me hold up this brim here. This one... Jeez, look at the way he's hooked. It's come in and out through the other side of his head. I would be pretty happy with this if I caught this one on the lure, but you know, we'll take it on the bait. I think this one was on the squid. Yeah, it is. You can see there. This one's actually on the squid head, so not bad. Not bad for a Lund Arrow squid head, you know, the tiny heads. Let's go send him back. Let me turn on my head torch. Let's see what he does. What do you reckon? Catch him another day. See you later. Yeah! Oh, look at this. Go for another head. Small heads, big heads. Let's tear off that remnant bait. We'll throw this in the water in a second. So yeah, Lun squid head, huh? Doing the damage. We've got a few more baits out. I'm actually setting up a third rod too, so... This one will go straight back out now. And while I walk here, if I haven't shown you the rig yet, I've got an easy rig with a 55 gram sinker to a bead, swivel, and about a meter of 20 pound to a bead and a circle. This one's only a 3.0, small one, so perfect for brim look at that all the rods set up this time because it's hard to see when i'm showing you the rigs on the side check this one that's the livey we've got two more out here mine are in the middle so we're just walking towards them now got this one i think this one's got some squid i think that one there i know for certain because that's mine that's got a full squid where's my little rod actually the one we just walked by had a squid head. That one is my rod as well. This one, I can't remember, but I think it was two 10 O's with a full squid. So you can see we pretty much put all our ducks, we tried to line all our ducks up. Now it's time to, to shoot a bit, shoot a get, get something. All right, here we go. We brought it out. It was yeah. literally like- Oh, you're on. There we go. <laughs> Ah, oh, I think that's, I think that's off. Oh no! Oh, that's <laughs> we got nothing all night, but it looks like we just had a quick run here. <laughs> what do you guys record? What do you guys call it here? A few nice, few nice head shakes, but then it hasn't done very much since. It is a little... Soapy! Yes, Woo! Sir. <laughs> yes, sir! Perfect! <sighs> Boom! Yeah, yeah! I'm happy with this, sir! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, as you saw, I had someone, um... Hey, I didn't go out empty-handed today. Yeah. We're just about to, yeah. Look at that. Let's smell it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a smell. Really strong pungent, but I love it. Gotta let him go. Still wouldn't even have made legal in the old scale of 45, but I'm really happy about this one. Let's send him back. Woo! Go on! With a little less plastic.